All right, hey, what's up, you guys? DJ Mama here, and we're continuing the series of finding the best moves for each character I play and I know of in Tekken 7. So the best move I did uh, Nina already, and I've done what else did I do? I did Nina and Asuka. So we got to talk about Lily. So Lily has a lot of good moves. She's got a really good amount of buffs since season one to season four or season five now, actually. So let's just talk about it. So. One of my favorite moves I love to use, Side Step 3, such a good move. Bop bop. Uh, minus 9, only minus 9, a mid that hits grounded. Reese Blats itself, you can just combo into itself, that's crazy. It's also pretty decent at the wall. The only thing is you don't have really a sidestep into it. You just gotta, it's not a wall combo ender, that's the only thing. It can be used pretty well. Of course with Lily's long sidestep and like, uh, boop, she could delay it for a while too, <laughs> so. Lily sides up three, pretty good move. All right, let's talk about the cheater move. You always gotta talk about the what puts some fear into people's hearts. Down three plus four, the Matterhorn. Sometimes you just go under things with this move that you really shouldn't. Oh, I dropped the combo, it's all right, all right. But yeah, Matterhorn, the big launch, big move. Uh, it really do be uh, the big launcher she has. You know, it is minus a million. Minus 21, pretty much any launcher gets that. Uh, so, it is what it is. Next up, let's talk about 4-2-3. Her 12 frame punish in this game was already pretty good. Uh, 1 plus 2 did a lot. <laughs> it was a little short, but it was fine. And then you got to 13, which her down forward 1, her down forward 1 sucked. But that's when you got 4-2-3. But they made it 12 frames in this game, which is insane. And considering it hits from like range 2.5. <laughs> and it wall splats, it does all this nice stuff, moves crazy. Uh, also, I'm going to talk about this 3-1, three, three, love, love using this move, love using this move. So once again, 4-2-3, very good, and then 3-1, also pretty nice, but it's minus, it's only minus 13, which is not bad. Um, next up, uh, this, I don't know if you want to put this as a move, but I'm going to talk about Dewglide. Dewglide so crazy, her quarter circle forward movement, she do, does back one to Dewglide, she has like what? What does she get out? She has 3-2 Dewglide. Her, her Dewglide can trend, uh, transitions get a little bit better through in Tekken 8 because they're kind of just limited. You can just do it raw. It's just fine. Her du moves out of Dewglide, always so good. 2-1. Used to be a lot better. Uh, this used to be a lot better, but I think the standing one is fine. The knockdown used to give like a... Used to give some stuff at the wall because this wall splatted and then... And with some certain uh, ranges, you can get the, the wall combo there. But the standing frames are really nice. But overall, I think the standing is a nerf. But considering to the, the knockdown. But this is still just a high high that's plus on block. Because that's not it. Plus six. Crazy. Uh, yeah, so do glide. I'm just giving it to do glide. And of course, cross circle forward, three plus four. Such a good move. Um, next up, uh, forward four. This move is insane. So if you do this, ah, uh, uninterruptible. Forward pro being a counter hit launcher? Of course. Why not? You gave her Baryon's uh, three plus four. Why did that in a combo? Whatever. Forward four, crazy move. Knocks down, they can tech roll out of it to get out of it, but they're, they're gonna be so far away and then they have to like, deal with this move that hits a like two, two point five? Two point five. Not bad. 2.5. That, that's just crazy. <laughs> Next up, uh, down 1, 2. Bop, bop. This was a... Uh, this, uh, I think, is now natural. They made it natural, and it doesn't... And it jails now, I think? I don't know. But this move's crazy. Bop, bop. Uh, the follow-up's insane. It's only minus. Is it... What's the... What's the... Oh, no, that's the other one. So this is pretty nice. Also, it goes into back turn. Not bad. So down one, two, very good move. This catches people. It caught me a lot when I ever fight Lily who just does this. I'm like, oh, I forgot she has that move. I'm like, it's not in my arsenal to use that much, but it is. But what is in my arsenal to use? Down four, three. We always gotta gotta use this move. What is it? Okay, 2.2. Two? Easy. Two my four. Oh. Uh, eh. We hit him from range three. We ain't that big. Two or five. Ooh, we still hit. This move's crazy. Forces crouch. Ugh. 
just leads into so much. Uh, plus eight is insane. They can try to step it, but uh, down forward one and down forward forward both catch pretty well. When you just down three two, that's crazy. But uh, yeah, this is a uh, this insane move because not only is it good, really good on block, good on hit. Uh, it counter hit launches. Hooray! Uh, uh, 75, the easiest 75 you've ever seen. All right, next up, uh, we'll talk about this one. The back four stuff. The greatest ender <laughs> you can ever end on uh, at a wall. If you can ever get this at the wall, it's insane that it's so insane. Just like, ah, 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 50. So much damage, insane. All right, next up, we'll talk about 2-4, her 10 frame punish. Uh, it's gotten me a lot of games. I just interrupt some people, just sidestep 2-4. Just, just eh, eh, eh. Ah, 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 ah. It's only minus two. They're both highs. It is what it is, but this game, this, uh, this move's insane. 2-4, her, her 10 frame. Pretty, pretty good. And now we'll talk about the last move. Up three. Up three is, like, one of the best combo fillers in the game. Goes into do glide as well. I forgot it. Yeah, we go to do glide. But, ah, ah, ah. Eh, whatever. <laughs> so, the move I'm gonna give Lily's best move to, down forward three. Of course, I'm giving it to this down forward three. It doesn't really give you like Lily's like main game plan. Like, oh, she's gonna be like plus frames the character, plus with movement. That's kind of crazy. Uh, yeah, but I'm giving it to down forward three for a lot of reasons. It's just a crazy move. Hold this heel for a days. So yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below what you think was in contention. If you agree or disagree, let me know in the comments down below. And I will hopefully see you guys next time for uh, other characters. And let me know what other characters you want to see me uh, talk about. <laughs> Alright, see you guys next time. Bye!